My relations. I have very sad news today. There were some incidents that happened today. What's happening is uh, at the Dakota Access Pipeline, they have snipers in the hills. And these snipers shot an 11 year old girl unarmed. A little girl, they killed her today. This is wrong. There was uh, an old elder today. Um, they were praying and they attacked the people. And when they attacked the people, they tasered this elder in the face. And that elder had a heart attack. There's a lot of things. They shot a horse today. They're using grenades, percussion grenades, and they're attacking the people. They're covering this up. They're covering this up. They keep on provoking. People are praying there. People have their hands in the air in prayer. They don't have any weapons. And then the police say a woman had a weapon and they arrested her. We know there's trolls out there that are affecting, twisting stories around. We know there's moles out there too. I've experienced a couple of them. There was a lady told me she was married to one of the people there, Wombly. And she said her name was Selena. And she says, I'm over there. And, and he, he died. And this, this man isn't even dead. And these people are twisting stories around. And they're out there. Some of them aren't native. We need your support out there. We need your help out there. Go, go to Standing Rock. Many of you hike, you know. Take your GPS. Hike across the fields. Bring your sleeping bags. Support these people. I will be there. My car broke down today. I had my car in a shop. I'm delayed, but I haven't stopped. This journey will happen. Even if you have to travel across the field and hide and then go through that fence, do it. They had one of the guys from uh, Dakota Access Pipeline. He snuck through the fence with a loaded rifle, an automatic weapon, and he was going to kill natives. And he got captured by the natives. He wanted to hurt the people. These people are unarmed. They have no weapons. They have no firearms. They're there in prayer. They're there to protect the water. This, this is the United States of America. This is not a place where they abuse people, but they have been abusing native people for many years, 500 years. They make an agreement with us. And before that ink dries, they break it. You know, I watched the newscast today on they're talking about these people illegally doing this and disrespecting the law. The law is the one disrespecting. The United Nations told them that we have sovereign rights. They go against the United Nations. They're on Indian land. They're taking down our teepees. They're burning our teepee poles. This and they say we're breaking the law. We have no weapons. They have snipers that kill people. They kill our horses. They shoot down the drones every time. The drones are only there to prove what's happening there. They're armored vehicles. They got visual anti police. These police come from North Dakota, South Dakota, Nebraska. They come from uh, Michigan and they want to fight. They get gun hat. They get buck fever. They want to kill Indians. This is these people. Some of them called us prairie niggers. That's racism. They put weapons in the hands of these law enforcement who want to kill Indians. That's what's going on in America today. That's what's going on this very moment. And then they twist the stories around. They take these true stories that we tell and they, the police change the stories. The police have always been lying to cover themselves here. When will they tell the truth? I had a friend that was a police officer, a good friend, and he was murdered by other police because he told the truth. Do not tell on a bad police or they kill you. And if the bad police want to be visual antis, the millionaire pays them off, the billionaire, you know. This death of this little girl falls on one man, Kelsey Lee Warren from Dallas, Texas. 
He's responsible for this death. He's responsible for that elder having a heart attack. He wants to fight. He calls us dirty Indians, our phony spirituality, our stupid ecological ideas about the environment. The man is a dinosaur. Water is life. We are there to protect the rivers. We're there to protect our lives. They're poisoning rivers. This is not the first river they poisoned. They've been poisoning many rivers. You go look them up. That Suncor company has had 200 pipeline breaks and failures since 2010. And this pipeline just had a mass of 55 million gallons that spilled. This just happened. The same company that's owned by this billionaire the same company that's owned by Kelsey Lee Warren. You know, this man is truly evil. I wish the world would go after this man. We are there in prayer. We're there in prayer. Our hands are up in the air. We're praying to the Creator. And they got machine guns on us. And they're killing us. Will the world wake up? Einstein said, the world will not be destroyed by evil people. The world will be destroyed by the good people who do nothing and let it happen. So do something. If you love God, their hands are up to the Father, Father Creator. Their hands are up to our Father in heaven. And they're praying. And they get shot by vigilante police. They're getting murdered right now. They're shooting horses and drones. They're shooting. They killed an 11-year-old girl today. They had a little 10-year-old girl's face ripped up from one of their attack dogs. And this is what Kelsey Warren wants done. He wants to fight. He wants to kill Indians. This is wrong. This is truly, truly evil. They're using percussion grenades on elders and children. They're blowing up grenades on children and on elders, and nobody is there to stop this man. It's guns do not kill people. The people who use the guns kill people. And the oil company can't do nothing without having a dictator who wants to kill. And that's exactly what you have. You have a dictator there that wants riots. They got moles out there. I've ran across three of them already. They go out there and they're part of that protest and yet they're not even native and yet they send information back and one woman got arrested today. They don't show her face because she probably worked for them. She was one of them because we went over there to pray. No weapons are allowed in the camp. No firearms. But these people have to use machine guns, use grenades, use force and kill little children because they're afraid of the truth, because they're afraid of justice. There's no democracy in the United States of America. They break the First Amendment, they break the Second Amendment, they break the Constitution of the United States, and when we call the White House, they hang up on us. This is evil, a pure evil is over this country, a pure evil. How good a country is, is by the way they look after their people. They look after their children. They look after their old people. They don't have problems with medical coverage. This country is changing right now. The billionaires are becoming more richer, and then they have only the poor. The billionaires and the poor. There's no longer justice here. This must end. This must end today. Go to South Dakota, North Dakota. Go. Come up and go join the people. Bring your jackets. Bring your sleeping bags. Go over there. Help the people. Make a stand for justice. Make a stand for God. Make a stand for that little girl. Make a stand for animals and horses and the way they pollute. 17 million people are going to be poisoned when that pipeline breaks. And it's not a matter of if it breaks, it's just when it will break. 
Kelsey Ward has to be stopped. You stop him. We're praying right now. God bless you all. Kanaskum tanan. Kitam hinaka kakyo. Kashala. Kashunda. Simant ok mao. Kpe witsi. Help. Help these people. In prayer and in action. Don't be like Einstein said. The world will not be destroyed by evil people. Einstein said the world will be destroyed by good people who do nothing. And a 15-year-old boy, there's, there's a lot of information here that's been happening. This, they're looking, people are missing. People are missing. Families looking for them. These police will stop at nothing. Some of these police really do belong to the KKK. They really do. And they want to kill Indians. They call us prairie niggers. That's racism. These percussion grenades, they're using sound cannons. They're, they declared war. And they're on Indian land. They're on reservation land. And they come over there, take our teepees apart, burn our poles. United Nations, where are you? Where are you? President Obama, where are you? Where are you? Bernie, help us. God, help us. God, help us. Hey, hey. Ho, ho. Oh, my relations. And I thank everybody for joining in. Hey, hey.